Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Knowledge Hub and this is the third video in the series of IELTS speaking test where we are going to give you some essential tips for scoring a perfect 8 in the IELTS speaking section. If you haven't gotten a chance to subscribe to our channel, right now is the perfect time for that. And if you want access to our other videos, here is the link for that as well. Now without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Your answer should always have a structure and especially for part 2 where you are supposed to speak for a minute or two. And by structure I actually mean your thought process. There are several techniques of including structure in your answer, but my favorite is chronological order, which is past, present, and future. It can be the other way around as well, future, present, and past. Confused? Let's take an example for that. Suppose you're given a topic about cars. What you can say is, in the past, cars were expensive and they were rare, but then they started becoming affordable and more people started owning them. They were safer, but they also brought in pollution and now companies are trying to move away from traditional cars towards electric and hybrid cars. If you see, I created a connection between the past, present and future. And the same way you can apply this technique to a lot of the topics. Second, take pauses, similar to what you do in your native language. This helps you in two ways. Firstly, you avoid fillers. And secondly, it helps you communicate your message in a better way. Third, do not over prepare for IELTS because highly likely the questions you're gonna get would be different from what you have prepared. Over preparation also hampers your natural thought process. Instead, what you can do is start listening to a lot of podcasts and you can move around and see for topics yourself. For example, when I used to travel in Metro, I used to look around and think about modes of transport, people, culture, and used to speak on those topics for at least a minute or two. Fourth, do not worry about your accent at all because IELTS is more focused on speaking grammatically correct and fluent English. Fifth. Always utilize the time that you are given before the cue card topic. This helps you in arranging your thoughts in a structured fashion and making you aware of how much content you will be needing in speaking for a minute or minute and a half. In the end, I hope you find these points helpful in your IELTS preparation. For any questions, please post them in the comment section. If you want to join our classes, reach us out on our WhatsApp number 416-993-8835. Hope to see you in the next video.